Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays RimWorld. Our lifter has been gestated. Where'd he go? Oh, there he goes! He's like... Green? Select to- wait a minute, wait... Oh, he's carrying the toxic waste! What a hero! Where is this toxic waste coming from? I know I asked this last episode, I'm recording this relatively recently after the last one. What is- where does this stuff come from? Who's poisoned my land? I don't understand. Is it just like a byproduct of- of... Stuff? <laughs> of- of like industrialization? Because I dislike that. I wonder if there's a way to like get around that. Pollution pump? Cleans polluted terrain, it's extracted, pollution is formed into toxic waste packs, which must be hauled away. So is it like here? How do you tell? I'm sure somebody will let me know. Or I could Google it. Who knows? Well, that's interesting. Well, thank God for the lifter bot. Dissolves every eight days. It is deteriorating. I don't really care if this part of the world gets... <laughs> it gets poisoned. I don't know, man. Starius, what are you up to, my man? You're smelting stuff. That's fine. But I would really like it if you would get back to cleaning. Cooking. We only have two cooks. One artist. A, a lot of crafting is going on now. Maybe I flop around Vinov and Starius with the crafting and the cooking duty. Or the planting in the... Because cause the likelihood of, of maxing out your planting is more likely than maxing out cleaning. I feel like cleaning will always happen. Is there a mech that cleans? There is. <laughs> I'm going to solve all my problems with robots. And this is perfect because that will that will um max out Leontia's current mech limit. So we have Constructobot. Con I called him Constrobot. I can't believe this. Constructo. <laughs> I can't believe I misnamed him this entire time. And then the other, we have Green Thumb, who's the aggro guy. And then this guy is Buff Boy, because he carries things around with his little robot hand. Look at him go. He's doing such a good job. What a hero. Starius is cleaning the duck pen. He's taking the... Oh, no. <laughs> I realize our... our... Uh-oh. Don't put the hay inside the... I mean, right now it's fine. But overall, we don't want to overload our shelves with hay. Yeah, take the hay out of here. Uh, copy the settings. Paste the settings. There. We don't want you putting hay in here. Excuse me. Buff boy. Did I not tell you guys not to put the hay in here? What the heck? Did I copy the wrong? Wait a minute. I'm very confused. Because I'm pretty sure I told them not to put the hay here. Did this work? Okay, it did this time. I don't understand, man. Thank you, Starius, for cleaning up. There's a duckling sleeping on the ground. A wooden egg box. We've got too many too many ducks is the problem. Also, we have uh one of the muffalo wool beds still still on the floor in there, which is very odd, because there is a duckling sleeping on top of somebody's sleeping bag. You guys stop leaving stuff all over the place. You maniacs. 
Thank you. All right. But bu- Buff Boil sorted out slowly. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. All right. There's a flak vest tainted on the ground. We don't want that. That should get that should get torched. Can you grind down old guns? Is that a thing? Like if I look at my machining bench. Can make a lot of stuff. I don't see anything about recycling. Maybe that's like its own own command, I'm not sure. How come there this uh these chunks aren't being utilized? Stone? Yeah. What are you doing, you weirdo? No, there's no nothing for you to harvest? I'm shocked. You shouldn't be out here though. This is like not <laughs> not the place to be for a, a small robot. Smelting metal from slag? Sure. Why not? Have fun. Wonder if I should move this rock field somewhere. What a noise. Was that a duck? We should definitely learn what the Arco Nexus is, right? I've been ignoring that for about six minutes now. Okay. Norsus is looking to expand their territory and are interested in taking over... Excuse me. I don't want you to buy my colony. They're interested in taking over Moria too, with all its wealth and technology. If you can increase your total wealth to $350,000, they will take the settlement. In trade, they offer you part of a map showing the location of an ancient Arcotech Nexus. The Arcotech Nexus is thought to be a conduit through which an Arcotech superintelligence influences this physical world. If you could invoke its power, what happens next could go beyond physical reality. What? They only have one piece of the map, the other parts are held by other factions. If you accept their offer, Outlanders will take possession of Moria 2, including all items, people, and recorded research. They'll bring five of your people and five of your animals to anywhere you want on the planet to start a new colony. Later, you can trade with others for the final two parts of the map. What on earth? I like the idea, but I don't want them to take my colony. How do I tell how much my colony is worth anyway? I can't even imagine. Is it this light bulb? <laughs> no. Where would it say? Does it? Is it just raw money? Keep your colonists away from polluted terrain. Normal crops cannot survive on polluted terrain. But where does it come from? I don't understand. Clearly, it's happening like right here. Maybe we should put a, a pollution pump there. Slowly cleans polluted terrain. Sure. All right. Why not? I would rather clean it than just ignore it forever and just fill up this cave with toxic, toxic waste. How many waste packs do we got? We got five, four, we have 14 total and one dissolves every day. Eight days. Hmm. The Arcotech thing is wild. I am very intrigued by it. But I, I really dislike the idea of giving somebody else my colony. That's mine. Oh, I also have to assign this to Granzier. Doesn't Granzier need to get a title? Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Accept. Yes. Cool. Come hang out in my unfinished, my unfinished throne room. We've got all of our carpet done, which is kind of cool. Everybody will be happy about that. Carpet is mustard. Yes. And that won't be all of the carpet, but close.
Now, what do we do with the rest of this room? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, maybe we just fill this with marble too? Oh, you know what? We should do something cool with the marble. Like, let's see here. So this is marble. Here we go. So fine limestone or fine marble tile. And then maybe we do like this and then do like triangles. I kind of like that. Well, yeah, that looks pretty cool actually. And then what do you do with the rest of it though? Hmm, these are the questions. I think this need a techist. I don't have a techist. Could put a fine carpet over here just to look cool. It is a labor intensive process. I don't think I want to use that one. Maybe we'll do something like granite over here. Just to fill the space. Because I have a lot of granite. Swoop. Perfect. It's going to take me forever to finish that floor. Hey, look at this guy. Look at this dude. Holy cow, this guy is important. He's got a cape. Back away so I can see this dude. Where is he going? <laughs> His name's Assis. Assisis? Open link quest. You will arrive by shuttle. Click. Begin bestowing ceremony to begin the ceremony. Oh, select the guy. There he is. Start bestowing ceremony for Grand Zero. Let's have him chill out. Look at all the guys he has. This guy's got an LMG. This guy's got a charge rifle. Charge rifle. And a Thompson. No, a chain shotgun. They've got like... Mech armor? This guy's got a Laz rifle? What happened to you? You got into a fight. You got a human... A, a bunch of punches. They also have a Gojuice dependency. Lucas? Oh, I wonder if Lucas and Petronia punched each other. They had a rough time coming over. Yeah, just let them hang out for a little bit. And when everybody gets up... What time does everybody wake up around here? 19. Or 17, maybe. So not just a couple hours from now. Everybody will be up and at him. Vinov's recovering from his right kidney gunshot wound. Wild. Eric's already up. Starius is up. He's cleaning. Cleaning like a beast. Sammy's already working on the on all of the car uh all of the uh the granite tile. Fantastic. All right, Gr Grand's ears up. Let's just wait for Burger to get out of bed. He's still sleeping. Burger, what the heck, man? Okay, he's up too. All right, let's let's click on Assis. Here he is. Uh, start bestowing ceremony. We have uh, nine out of seventeen spectator or participants. Room impressiveness is pretty good. It's a seventy-eight percent chance. Uh, of good quality, so 57% honorable, 19% grandiose. So I think this is good. Everybody, come on in. Builder bot's gonna keep on working. Where are you? We're gonna do the ceremony in the lunchroom. I thought you were gonna do this in the kit in the in the throne room. It's happening. This is the. <laughs> is this the nicest room in the building? Is that why they're doing it in the, in the lunchroom? This is hilarious. Everybody's witness. Witness me. Witness Granzier gain her title. Oh man, this is going to take hours. All right, let's fast forward through this. Look at Builderbot still doing his thing. Christy doesn't give a crap. Let's see. Let's let's re uh, assess the walls around here. I was going to smooth a lot of these. So let's smooth this part. Excuse me. I can't smooth you? Must designate rough stone terrain? A grandiose ceremony! <gasps> Two honor is a sign of respect for gathering 11 spectators. What does a grandiose ceremony mean? You just got more honor? The title of yeoman. 
I can meditate upon her. She can meditate upon her throne. Dude, that's sick. I like that she is the dark, li the dark light killer, but also a yeoman in a, a federation she does not ascribe to. Okay, so she's above a freeholder. She's not an acolyte, but she she is a yeoman. And then knight, praetor, baron, and then count. There's duke, consul, stalark, and then emperor. Very wild. All right, we've got a new quest. Uh oh. Oh wait, wait, wait. We've had this quest before. Isn't that where Eric came from? She imprisoned the inappropriate lover in a show of rejection. Now she wants you to keep the prisoner caged until the scandal blows over in 14 days. Die it is! This is the exact same ep uh, thing that happened with Eric. I mean, sure. We'll take we'll take Diver. Or are you gonna drop him off right in the <laughs> right on the ground? Uh hey Granzier. Uh oh wait a minute. Uh Violet, capture this fool. There he goes. Yeah, this room is going to be sick when it's all said and done. I should see if I can get some, like, banners or something. Is that a thing? It's altar. Lectern. Are there, like, pews? I feel like there should be, like... <laughs> there should be, like, pews for people to sit upon. <laughs> to look upon the throne of... Of magnificence out here. Skull spike. I don't think our people like skull spikes. They're like too it's too morbid. The golden the uranium grand meditation throne is <laughs> It's so crazy. I love it. Did I say yeah, Grandzier is the, the owner of the throne. I hope she just kind of like rolls in here every once in a while and sits in this big empty room. Just to just to you know, think about things. Let's keep hauling these rocks away. Just so much granite. I feel like we need to start building things out of granite. I think I need... Don't I need more subcore? I have one more sub... Or I have two subcores. Okay, never mind. Okay, we have enough subcores for sure. I must have thought ahead sometime <laughs> in the past. Meanwhile, Eric is like very diligently digging out this entire space by himself. It's it's kind of impressive. So you are one, two, three, four, five. You're five, five spaces in. Two, three, four, five, right there. And then we'll need to extend the power Yeah, let me know what you think about that. This quest. The, uh... Oh, not that one. I can't... I forgot. They still have one of my persons <laughs> for uh, a day and a half more. So let me know what you think about this, uh... The Arco Nexus one. That's, that's a wild one. I don't know how I feel about that. Thoughts abound. We will install this marble statue of a cat... Who doesn't have a statue in their room? Right here. Everybody got a flower? Not quite. Almost. And you don't have a, a desk side bed. Or a bed a bedside desk. That kinda you, you can see my my general layout for the bedrooms. It gets everybody to either a decent bedroom or slightly impressive, decent. Decent. Somewhat impressive. Decent. Mediocre. It's because they don't have a statue. Slightly impressive. Is there anything that could make the bedroom even better? A drape? Ooh! We th ah! This is the, the thing I was talking about. What do you make this out of? Devil Strand. We don't have any. It would be a sick color, though. What about bird skin? <laughs> It's kind of gray. I love that it changes the color. Blue fur makes it kind of white. We got to get our hands on some devil strand. Isn't that a mushroom? 
There it is. Sure is a mushroom. Produce a silk net that is difficult to tear and soft to the touch. It takes a very long time to grow. Only ex exotic Ultratech fabrics outperform this devil strand fibers. Dude. Oops. Uh, what was I researching before? Mortars. Finish mortars. We'll come back for devil strand because we definitely need to deck out the, uh, the throne room with some devil strand drapes. That's, that's dope. Can make a bonsai pot? That's adorable. Oh, we gotta have some braziers in here. Dude, where would we put them? Maybe, like, I'm trying to trying to think like here, here. That'd be kind of cool. I wonder if you can change it to dark light. Cause you can change like dark torch, fungus dark torch. I wonder if the brazier can't be dark light though. Cause you have to build a specific torch for it. I don't know. These are the questions. What else would I want to put in the throne room? A school desk. Yes, everybody come learn from the king. Granzir will teach you. She's a, a wise and benevolent king. Otherwise, things are like kind of chill around the base now. We're, we're gestating the mech. Mech gestator uh, for another 17 hours. We'll have a Militor. I think they, they have a shotgun, which is pretty neat. We haven't been attacked in a long time either, which is kind of crazy. How many bedrooms do we have? We have four, we have 10, 11 people because one person is away. So right now we have four, eight, 12, 15 bedrooms. So some of these bedrooms are not even um, being utilized. Yeah, everybody come have a party with Eric. That's fun. Are they gonna do the light ball or is it just like a social party? Wave. <laughs> Things are chill at the, uh, at Moria 2. Starius, you have more, ta uh, more tattered gear? Oh, it's your duster and your t-shirt. What if I tell you to take these off? Will you go find better clothing? Shadowfax is pregnant? New horse incoming? Oh, Vinov's got some beer? Oh man, this is a party. <laughs> this is Eric's party. Eric is hiding in the corner. Oh no, he came out. Where's Lifterbot? Buff boy, what are you up to? Oh, he's moving. F okay, that's fair. I'll let you move the hay around. It is a good use of your time. Let's extend the sandstone flagstone. I was gonna dig out this room even further to get more production zone. So I might as well queue that up. We're still working on this giant greenhouse area, which is not really needed. Although we are chewing through now that I see this, we we have chewed through the backlog of our our food dramatically. I wonder, it's July. Hmm. Well, just uh, time to get our next uh, our next pinwheel going, I guess. Build copy. We build it here, and then we just build our. Uh, Our greenhouse around it. So let's see here. Rotate. So one, two, three, four. Excuse me, four. <laughs> and then we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And then we can actually just tear down this wall. I don't know if we have enough steel for all of this, because each of these is a hundred steel, so that's sixteen hundred steel, and we only have three hundred and eight. 
Doesn't seem likely. Although we do have a lot still unutil unutilized up there. I wonder if I uh, use my handy dandy search. Steel. Compacted steel. There's quite a bit still out here, actually. So let's go ahead and mine this vein. Get our hands on some of that. Yeah, there's still a lot on this map. Still haven't taken down that uh, compacted machinery either. Don't think I've forgotten about you. Ten days to go. Vinov's ready to spew some fire again. So maybe what we do is, is send out our, our squad. So maybe just a smaller squad this time. Oh, that's five people. So maybe we do the good old Leontia, Burger, Vinov crew. And then send Violet as well. And then call that good. Send send our two horses. Shadowfax and Butt Stallion. And then we got travel supplies. Is this enough food? 2.8? Yeah, you're fine. Go ahead. Off you go. We should probably go out hunting as well. So maybe we just keep... That's a lot of animals. Hunt every Ibex ram and doe that is out there. Where did this giant, like, goat herd come from? Also, there's a bunch of wild boars. Let's start with the... Let's start with the, uh, the boars. We'll go for some potato plants. Try to diversify our food offerings. Somehow I got this green room way wrong. Like, it's like, <laughs> it's way bigger than I intended it to be. But that's fine. We can have a little extra space. The Militor is here! He will work faster for eight days. It's too bad I'm sending him on a quest. But hopefully he'll be back in a couple days. And then he'll work faster then. Burger is on a work frenzy too. He's also going on a a, a thing. Everybody is pretty happy though, because they were at the cool the cool uh, title granting ceremony, and then they Eric threw a party. Everybody had some beer. <laughs> it was a great time. <laughs> we do have some Devil Strand. We just don't have a lot of Devil Strand. Attack, component, mining, worksite. Yep, that, that is the what we asked for. Builderbot, did you screw this up? Why is there a component lying on the ground? These are the questions. Yeah, we definitely more steel, need more steel. So if we see steel on the ground uh, when, we're, when we're raiding the component lab, definitely a place we want to... We want to consider. So we got lots of rice. We got potatoes. Maybe we do more rice. I know rice is like super... It grows pretty fast. I don't think there's other foods. Berries you could do. All right. Let's do a patch of berries. Because we do have some berries down here too. I don't know if it helps to diversify the food. But I have a... F like I just feel like it does. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually true. We still have some insect meat from back when the insects invaded our base, too. Good job, Sammy. Doing doing work. All of the animals are sleepy. Can you eat eggs? Ruined by temperature. They were frozen. Can you can we get rid of them? If they're no good? Are you never going to eat these? Yeah, there's 20 fertilized eggs. Maybe what I do is... Uh, can I set it so... Fertilized is not an option? What if, we, what if we take a look? Raw food. Animal product. No fertilized eggs. Can you eat them? I have no idea. They don't seem to be using them. I'll just leave them for now. 
in the off chance that we can eat them. But I have a feeling you can't. <laughs> That's just my hunch. How's the crew doing? They're almost there, 0.1 day away. They'll be there shortly. Might even be able to squeeze that in at the end of the episode here. Exciting. This is the beauty of the the super generator we have up here. Even as we increase the uh, power... Oh, it's only 70 watts, and we have an excess of almost 3,000. So even if we built the third or the fourth pinwheel down here of our greenhouse, we are we would be still sitting pretty. Because what is that? 8, 16 times 7, 700. We'd, we'd use up like half of it. Violet's caravan has arrived at the component work site. I guess it would be closer to, to like 2,000 power, but we'd still have excess. Uh, work, jump to the site. In we go. All right, there's all the people. Somebody gave somebody else the thumbs down. There is a, a horde of guinea pigs in this land. There's our horse. Shadowfax, you can't, you can't just like run away. Maor. They have a they have a bow, a bow, a bow, a, a spear. It is an equa. I think you can throw an equa. Maybe. All right, get in close enough to fire at will. Violet, you come over here. Venov, I want you to, like kind of run in point there. Take a shot. Boom. Dang, didn't work. They still haven't noticed. Nice shot. Leontia, you have the biggest gun on the team. How did these people not react to that? One of them was shot. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know what that was. Must have been the wind. You've all played... We've all played... Uh, Skyrim. Come on, you guys. You're better than this. That's a good shot. Oh, nice shot, Leontia. Much better. Ooh, one dead. Oh, hello. <laughs> Two dead. <laughs> then I was navigating the, the bow. The, the bows are coming fast and furious. Let's get up in here. Burn this fool. Let's go like this. Burn it orange. Rah! Get him. You shot Vinov, dang it. No, you didn't. But it looked like you did. All right. Don't let this guy get away. Oh, they're down. Do I want to save them? They're a good shooter and good in melee. They're a warrior. They like animals. They're bisexual and nimble. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the Chalisi Meadow. Maybe we should save this person. I'm I'm tempted. I should not have breathed fire all over a, a dang forest, man. Uh, no, no, no. Cannot capture? I would love to capture you. The thing is... Carry... Oh, nice! I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, yeah. Carry him over to this concrete zone here. We just need to find the... Is Vinov doing okay? He's going to die in 17 hours. He did get, get a little pummeled. We need to get him some better armor or something. Oh, I forgot the bedrolls again. I'm dumb. All right, Vinov, carry this person over here, and then we'll have... Who's the best doctor? Violet. Okay. She's assigned to doctoring right now. Leontia, I need you to check out the space here. Don't get lit on fire. Exotic goods trader! Bentley is returned. Thank you, Bentley, for helping Larry Good. All right, Vinov, set, set, drop. Rest. Violet, 
Tend to Vinov. All right, we found the components. We just need to get through this thing so I can uh, reform, <laughs> so I can reform the uh, the caravan and, and get. Uh, excuse me, you're not allowed to leave. I'm gonna die in three hours. That would be. I would be surprised if you live, but maybe. How's Vinov doing? He's getting patched up. No immediate danger. We found some beds. You got five beds? Maybe? Three beds. Just finish patching up uh, Vinov so I can have you save the other person. It'll take a while, I guess. Ooh, I'll take the pemmican. Why not? All right, wrapping up his last wound. Just sleep on the ground. Oh, I did not want to draft Vinov. Without medicine. Attempt to save this person's life. Vinov's, uh... Back in control. I wonder, does this, I, I think I can, if I reform the caravan right now, I think I can take them with me as a prisoner and then they will, they will patch her, yeah, they will patch her up on the way. So we got her. Uh, we don't re, oh, I'll take the, the equal that's worth $75. That's something. Definitely take the components. That's why we came here. Uh, eh, I don't really need any of the other stuff. It would take a while to deconstruct a lot of it. All right, on we go. So patch her up as we go. And now, let's go t talk to the general goods trader. Duster, I need you to call Komodo somebody or other. It's important. Did he get att attached to the wrong thing over there? Yes! All right, sell every duck we have that is is not named an actual name or uh sorry no, none of our ducks are named an actual name but sell every duckling we have we have one female sell the older male duck we have seven we have too many male ducks here sell every duck but one and then honestly we only need two i, I will just keep two females so sell that one too we have Dave. Didn't we have a pig named Molly? What happened to Molly? <laughs> Is Molly not a pig that I had at one point? Sell the foal. We have a lot of stuff going on here. They have Neutroamine, which I haven't even used any of our stuff yet either. Glitter World Medicine, a bunch of other stuff. Ooh, Brain Wiring. Compact Weaponry, Specialized Limbs. That's very interesting. We don't have any mo enough money for it, but I'm intrigued. We have the Archite Capsule, but I don't want to get rid of that. That one's very useful. I do like the idea of getting more books. I'm going to build the biggest library this world's ever seen. I think that's all she wrote as far as selling and trading goes. Because they they run a... They don't take, like, normal stuff. Maybe, uh, maybe I still want to come out ahead. So we'll, we'll pass on this one book here. Skill trainers are very interesting. The tech prints are... Are, are tempting, but I'll go with just that stuff. Did you guys just land that in the middle of the mountain? Is there a space over here I'm not aware of? Do you see this? There is a gap. There is a tiny bit of wall here that I don't think actually exists. 
if there is a hole in the mountain here and they've been dropping stuff there for who knows how long, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> uh, let's come get our books, though. Don't read them. Haul them. Because I bought a bunch of books. Definitely more than three. Well, welcome back, Bentley. Anyway, this has been a really long episode, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more episodes of RimWorld or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have your notifications on so you know when the next videos go live. But until next time, everybody, I hope you had a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.